is the quick way and the short way. The quick way. You find your three decimal places. You look to the next number and you say, if it was five or above, you round that up. And if it's um, less than five, you leave well alone. Chances are that didn't work for you, which is why you're looking at this. So let me tell you a story. I want you to imagine you've got a great idea of something to sell on the Christmas market. You are going to sell pooing dollies. Doesn't every three-year-old want a dolly go and it burns? But you have to order the plastic, the hair, the dress, the lace, the little shoes, the makeup, the eyes, um, the poo, the box, the cellophane, the ties to hold it in place. Um, oh, everything, absolutely everything. Pay for the staff, the manufacturing. They make it, they box them up, they sell them. Um, it, well, they get into the container. Your container goes to Shanghai, waits in Shanghai Harbour huge harbour um, and then it finally gets onto the ship it goes up and down South China Sea through the typhoons through the Indian Ocean across the equator down the Cape of Good Hope or Good Horn or whatever it is I don't know um, past uh, we'll say hello to Nigeria we're going through the equator again whoa it's hot through the storms of the Bay of Biscay up the English Channel into Southampton and it's delivered the harbour master phones your parents says your containers here they drive you down the motorway you get there you open up the doors no 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 no, no. you'll never guess what it's only real poo real poo in your pooing dollies and it's been there for about six months on the sea you know through the equator, through the storms, bubbling and burping. Oh, no. Well, you can't sell that on the Salisbury market, can you? Because that's just <laughs> not possible. But you have no morals. None at all. You are going to sell on the Brazilian market at cost. So you add up all of those costs, and this is what you get. Not a nice round number, but this much. Now, normally, we round to two decimal places because that's money. You know, three pounds sixty-five. But here we're doing nine. You round it up. What happens? Because you can't sell to a fraction of a penny or something, can you? You can't go around cutting up bits of pennies. So that is why we have rounding. Because if you made a million dollars, this, this here, would amount to £9,000. So it's not nothing. Now, I think accountants would just slap on an extra thing. But we're rounding up properly. I've just... No, I'm okay. I had a sudden panic. Um, now, the next part of the story. So that's why you do rounding. Because, because. Now, the next part of the story is I want you to Im imagine you've got an evil auntie, Edna. She's an absolute cow. She humiliates your father. Oh, your cousin Gordon and so much more than you do. <sighs> Nasty to your mum. Darling, you've had a haircut. I didn't know Poundland did haircuts. You never bring friends home because you'd just be horrible to them. Um, she comes every holiday, summer, Easter, half term, Christmas. Every Sunday she's there. She comes away with you when you go on holidays. There's no escape. It's gone on your whole childhood and it looks like it's going to go on until you leave home. You've had enough. You've had enough. But you have a cunning plan. Dad is going to take you to a family wedding and when you get there you are going to drink as many glasses of pokey pola as you can possibly imagine because pokey pola makes you a little bit uh, niffy in the knicker department if you know what i mean so you drink loads of it but there's a problem uh let's draw ourselves some glasses of pokey pola these are very roughly drawn glasses of pokey polar, aren't they? Now, if it is less than half full, let's give ourselves some stalks on the bottom. Looks a bit 70s, doesn't it? If it's less than half full, you're not going to drink it. So would you drink... Actually, I'm going to get rid of these top bits. I don't feel it helps having that three-dimensional element. That feels a bit more comfy, doesn't it? If that was a glass of pokey polar, would you drink it? Absolutely, because there's loads of pokey polar and we all know what that's going to do. Would you drink this one? No, because that's got too much dribble and backwash in it. We don't want to drink that glass of pokey polar because you're going around nicking everybody's. What about this one? It's exactly half full. 
yes, you're going to drink it because you want the maximum effect. And this one, bit above, no, yes, yes, we have that one. Bit below, no. So if it's half full or more, you drink it. If it's half full or not, you leave it alone. So this is what happens. You find your three decimal places, because that's what they ask for. You look to the next number, and you say, if this was a glass of Poke Pola, would you drink it? And that's only two tenths full, isn't it? So that's down here. Are we going to drink it? No, too much dribble and backwash. And therefore, we leave our answer at 7.159. We ignore that bit. If that was 8, we then add it onto our collection. And so instead of it being 59, we would make that into 60. But it isn't. It's three decimal places. So, and we... Ha! That's better, isn't it? Let's make sure we can see our decimal. And we ignore this too. So what happened on the way home? Well, you could feel your tummy getting tight as a drum. You knew that nature had to take its course, if you know what I mean. And um, woo, you, <laughs> Auntie Edna, good gracious me, I knew you did farmyard impersonations, but the smell? Oh, gracious, Auntie Edna, that's barely human. Auntie Edna, no. Dad, 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 quick, we need to go to the services. Auntie Edna's got a um, bit of an issue. Mum, 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 mum. Pass the wet wipes. Auntie Edna's pooed herself. Ugh. Oh, dear. The poor lady was utterly mortified. She was very upset. She never came again. No Christmas, no Easter, no summer, no, you were fine. Never again. Unfortunately, she died three weeks later and she left £7 million not to your parents as she had originally intended, but to the cat home. On the one unstrict understanding that they never gave you a Saturday job and they were the only weekend employer for miles around. So, my darlings, what is the moral of the story? Be nice to aged relatives, because you should be nice anyway. Be careful about drinking Poke Pola. And find out how many decimal places you want. Look to the next number and say, is it a glass of Poke Pola? Would you drink it? And if the answer's yes, add it on. And if the answer's no, leave it alone. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, is the story true? No, it's not. You do not have an evil Auntie Edna.